Analog. This is the energy vibration um, reading for the Scorpion Sun Moon Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, thank you for the wonderful positive energy. We're calling up on the angels in love to show us the energy vibration for the scorpions. So let's see what is coming up for the scorpions. Okay, so something flipped over for the scorpions. I'm seeing children. A lot of you scorpions are affected with kids. So I'm seeing the energy of the young man and children. So there is definitely um, someone young out there um, that is looking forward to have kids. So we have the young man and the kids. Then we have a um, long distance relationship. So some of you could have a relationship long distance with someone and there is kids. I'm seeing fun time that is coming up. I am definitely seeing you men dating um mature women and this is going to be good these are your twin flames okay so you scorpions um who are dating um the you're really dating your twin flames and this is good i'm seeing the blonde coming back up so you blondes are going to be finding your twin flame i'm seeing karmatic issues some of you young men are dating people but it's just karma that you're clearing I'm seeing the energy of soulmate for the mature women. True gem comes up with the twin flame, long distance relationship. I'm seeing a marriage coming in and this is going to be good. A lot of traveling is coming up for you guys, okay? Um, so some of you could be um, traveling, um, this is good. I'm seeing mature women, true gem is coming up. I'm seeing the union of a marriage. So some of you could be getting married to a blonde. And this came up because um, this energy also came up for, um, this energy came up. This is beautiful because the twin flame, the twin flame is here. The true gem is here. So someone is going to be getting uh, engage um the twin flames are also here and the soulmates so this is a good good month for you scorpion the twin flames and the soulmates are here this is a very very good month okay extremely good month because whatever is happening i'm seeing the energy of uh, this is coming up traveling could be coming up also for a lot of you traveling could be coming up now what else is coming in for the scorpions because there is just um yeah some of you young men are looking for open relationship there is a lot of text message going back and front okay so um oh 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 oh, oh. there is some issues and and situation that is going on here and it's just so funny because what we're seeing is that the mature women um women 45 and older you could be dating someone and you're not aware that it's just your twin flame i'm seeing also soulmates that is coming up for you mature women so the mature women definitely you're going to be the winner in a situation because you're not aware but um some of you mature women with kids could be um, dating someone long distance and it is your twin flame or soulmate. I'm seeing the men 45 years and older and they're here and some of them are in open relationship and is dating. I'm seeing the young men who are texting all the time and dating. I'm seeing the energy of the courting men. The courting men are these businessmen that walks around in a pack and they are <laughs> carrying this energy of uh, you know they're just looking for sex wherever they can receive it some of you um, men who are in a relationship or dating and have kids I'm seeing as if your burdens is going to be okay uh, over especially the men 45 years and older um, some of you could have been in um, a marriage or that sort of a thing but what is transpiring is that 
whatever the situation is I'm seeing definitely that um, a lot of you will be meeting your twin flame and soulmate okay so the the layout which you know I said to a lot of people I wish you could see the layout the layout is that you ladies you mature ladies are definitely are going to be meeting a soulmate a twin flame or a true gem and a true gem is definitely someone who has um, who has the um, it's as if this person wants you to meet them uh, okay so it's as if the time is ready for your twin flame or soulmate okay now there is a situation with an organization and some of you were dealing with someone in an organization that was a soulmate but you clear a karmatic situation because whatever that has happened and has transpired you definitely clear this karmatic situation I'm seeing a people who felt as if you know they're in hardship because their relationship their twin flame is based abroad but I'm seeing the younger people really enjoying this um, basically it's good it's as if the younger people feels you know it is good like this then we're seeing definitely the true gem and they want to get married so wonderful wonderful experience is going to be happening um, whoever you are dating um, at this moment and you felt as if this is the person I want to get married to I want to spend the rest of my life with it's definitely going to be happening especially for young people it's definitely going to happen so this is good this is positive um, positive experiences that is coming in I'm seeing a lot of your burdens are going to be over especially when you um, come in contact with your twin flame and soulmate I'm seeing a lot of people who um, really care about each other is going to be honestly opening speaking their truth and saying how they feel about each other and I'm seeing a union of marriage is coming in so we have the open relationship with the young men and the energy with the open relationship with the young men is that what is transpiring is that some of you are being pushed or tutored by a older person and this older person is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian now hmm, whatever <laughs> um, unbelievable let's see what is coming up I'm seeing some of you um, young men are looking for someone to start a family with whatever the situation is I think some of you want to start a family because that if you get someone pregnant then you think that you can hold this person um, whatever way you think you can hold this person this is what is coming up but it's not going to happen I'm seeing a lot of you texting other people um, you know you feel as if this is the love of your life you're texting you're communicating with others and some of you really think that that's the love of your life so this is good so let's move forward and we're looking your intuition was right about a, a situation so some of you have met someone and it's a businessman is someone that you know pretend and try let it go nah 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 yeah some of you yeah met this person through business now nothing for you don't even go there don't do it don't even go there it's nothing for you don't go there okay um here we have the energy of uh, the Emperor in reverse because whatever the situation is with this Emperor whatever that is transpiring um, I'm seeing someone who is just really dumb it's just a dumb person um, as someone who came in and think you know they they have this power and they're so good and you're looking at the person you're thinking have you really take a good look at yourself because you're not all of that okay 
here I'm seeing you overcoming a situation that you were dealing with someone in a relationship this person was just off balance off key you decided to let this relationship go and that was the best thing that you have ever done to be honest um, sometimes you definitely feel these negative energies that is coming up I'm seeing some sadness for someone out there but the sadness is that you 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 realize the, the situation that was transpiring okay and you decide to turn your back to the situation and it could be a long-distance relationship you had fun but then you think yeah the fun is over um, moving forward okay the fun is over moving forward and in um, with the situation I'm seeing that you no longer want to connect with that person it could be because of someone in the family that you're thinking no um, I don't really want to work on this issue what is coming up is that a lot of you are going to be making these twin flames and soulmates some people were like aligning themselves uh, um, to learn to be comfortable with them, them themselves and what you realize is that you have made your twin flame and soulmate and you know exactly that is the person the truth is coming out about a relationship that you were in uh, some of you realize that this person and whoever it is you're having regrets that you have started anything with this person you're regretting like every moment of it and um, in the future this person is going to wish they didn't have done what they have done because they are going to be falling on their faces and they're going to be coming back to you and said hey I'm sorry okay so be careful um, how you people treat a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person because this person um, could be marriage material um, this person she's really elegant she's really nice she's on her wits she's she's very she's she speaks up she say exactly what is happening what I'm saying is that a lot of you start dating other people because uh, you're not finding what it is you're looking for in your relationship so some of you men could be realizing that your partner are looking outside of the relationship for satisfaction um, this is coming up especially for the men 45 years and older now definitely I said that marriage was going to come in place yeah definitely a marriage is going to come in place some of you are going to be married to a beautiful Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay so definitely marriage is here it is a month of marriage so you guys could be um, marrying or you're about to marry a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and this is going to be beautiful so you know go for it is say yes so if some of you had some questions about um, whether or not you should go forward and marry this person it is a yes go for it some of you were in a relationship with um, an air um, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius or an Aquarius Gemini or Libra um, you were right okay so whether an Aries Leo or Sagittarius or an Aquarius Gemini or Libra the truth is coming out about this person you were right okay you were right about a situation you were right about this person because this person tried to create things that wasn't there and you're blooming over it because you know that someone that this person sent someone to find out you know are you seeing someone what is happening in your life you know that and this is why you gave less information you just gave the information that they wanted to have which is very smart of some of you because you learn to love yourself so much you you, you learn to love yourself to realize that I can give so much but yet I'm enjoying myself because you know women are like this women get very connected to men through sex and I think that a lot of women are learning that if a man thinks that I'm gonna fall in love with them or 
you know I'm the one who is gonna fall over for them and the rest of it is not gonna happen because you know women over the years have learned the game and realized that you need to separate sex from the feelings because always women have connection with with men sex together and that sort of a thing and what you're doing is just separating new love is coming in um, for a lot of you guys new love is coming in but this new love is gonna be coming in towards the end of the month okay and for some of you who are alone and looking for a new relationship towards the end of the month this new love could be coming in some of you are really having regrets with someone who you have dealt with whoever this person is you thought oh my god I will not even let someone know that I've been with that person some of you are dealing with the knight of wands and this knight of wands is working with um, this older person so these people are coming in your life and it is as if I really know what you guys are up to I've been in relationship I've seen you guys in relationship I've been there and I don't want it because you are water and you know it's your water don't go with the fire sign because you're about to out the fire out okay because um, whoever these fire sign people are that is coming in it's as if you guys are like I really don't want to be in this relationship some of you are going to be reconnecting with someone from the past this person is really 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 so wonderful and um, whoever this person is um, you have you could have met this person in church or met this person in school a long time ago but it's an institute see okay so it could be in school or in church I'm seeing a beautiful little girl here but I'm not really seeing pregnancy but it's as if some of you could be adopting so this person comes up in a love reading some of you could be adopting the energy of justice is here and you're um, you're really standing up um, you know some of you someone could have gone over your you know your private it's as if this person did something to push your buttons and I'm seeing you standing up and said you know something you think that you're all that you're not you're so disrespectful you're so rude I don't know how women deal with you and it's as if this person just goes around being very disrespectful to women um, on a whole and think that the that person is what and I think that someone um, this person is going to be connected with someone and the person is going to say really tell them you know you're not that you're not all that okay you're not all that so and it's good because sometimes sometimes it is good to say it sometimes you know let them go because they're going to fall on their own swords because you know sometimes you can be in relationship with someone and the person is so rude so horrible and think that it is just so okay to be that way and they're you know these are people who are just set up for a fall now some of you are definitely going to be connecting um, with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn the marriage is here the marriage is definitely coming in um, definitely um, if you were um, hoping for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn to ask you out or um, in the hands of marriage yes it's going to be happening uh, definitely a yes um, and um, what I was saying also before is that some of you were dealing with someone who was just so rude who um, you know behave as if they were what and you know playing these games around you and then all of a sudden you decide hey I will never open up to you I am closing off myself I will never open up to you and you know the thing about it is that you just hold them off and 
you know you say things to see what is their reaction which is very good because you know women is getting much smarter men are men think with their dicks and with their ego while women are much smarter and learning the game of love much better because there is someone out there who you know was seen someone and I think there was there is no way in your thoughts that this person you would have taken this person serious I think you have a lot of fun with this person and that's it but you let it go because this person whoever this person is they just think that they are the cat's Mia and you're looking at this person and thinking I've seen I've seen better than you and I didn't really spring but you're about to fall on your face so let me leave you and this is exactly what is happening because you're realizing that this person is either out to look for marriage material or out for to connect with someone who is already there or how to um, whatever it is with that person you are like hold on um, let me just back up and see this and have all the fun I can have but for the rest of it I know how to hold you off because you realize that whoever this person is and it can comes up as you know it, it is someone different from your own sign and it could be someone who is a water sign also but definitely this person is coming in very aggressive and rude and I think that you guys are saying no so I'm seeing new love that is coming in for the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn this beautiful lady comes back up again um, it is wonderful it is good I'm seeing some sadness that is coming in and the sadness is coming in because whoever this person is is a young person so you young people be aware of someone who is coming in and behaving as if he or she is a cat's meow because they're really not you know and this is it a lot of people will call people different names and put people in different category but when you know who you are you don't care really what people say it's because I'm seeing that some of you are coming from a more higher echelon than another person and then that person just comes in being very rude and you know really it, it, it seeks you to see how another human being behave against you just to make you feel bad and put you down now this is definitely sometimes the Aries come over that ash and you know you're gonna be you're gonna be just looking at the situation because whatever is happening your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true because I see a lot of you asking for new love and uh, um, this new love is definitely coming in some of you have really wonderful relationships but I'm seeing someone new on the horizons that is coming in and this person could be in the future a married mate and it's a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so you know you're on your game some of you what is transpiring is that I'm seeing true love that is coming in but you need to give it time and you need to understand it is a yes for some of you that is about to get in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn it is definitely a yes go for it now <laughs> there is this woman this woman is 45 years and older I'm seeing she is coming in because she's pissed off she's pissed off at um, some of you were in a relationship or you had just seen someone for some time of fun and enjoyment and she's just so pissed off but you know she is deciding to also move forward and leave this person behind because she realized that this person has um, she realized that you know you didn't want this person nobody really wants this person because um, their true color always come out and I think that she realized that you or someone from a different um, Asia long or cabal um, that is doesn't want this you know messages are going to be coming in and I'm seeing a lot of you just blocking these messages and just thinking hey 
you know it's over it's 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 really much over whoever is being heartbroken um some messages is going to be coming in to make you feel heartbroken whatever the message is um i it's coming up as if some of you were pregnant and you're going to have a miscarriage um yes some of you are pregnant but you're going to have a miscarriage i think because of certain environmental situation um there is definitely not not the the person for okay sometimes people get pregnant and they have miscarriage and they're not aware that um the body um because of you know like people who are raped they have sometimes they have miscarriage people are raped sometimes um when that happened then you know like it just take it away and it is a it is a situation where some of you realize um you know maybe it is best and think about this some of you might have gotten pregnant for someone who is very disrespectful or that sort of a situation and what is going to transpire is that you are just going to cut this person out and because you thought about you know having a child that way the universe sometimes and miscarriage comes up in so many different forms because the, the universe just basically will flush it out of your system because that's not it but I'm seeing a lot of really positive relationships I'm seeing people connecting I'm seeing new love come come coming in especially with the hurt sign people um, there's a lot of new love that is coming in um, this is a situation where this lady realized that uh, um, it's time for her to move on it, it, it's as if she realized that this whoever she was seeing um, it's as if she was in a relationship with this person for a very long time and whoever she was seeing no longer is a part of her energy is as if she was like oh my god I've wasted so much time on this person because um, this person is out of my life and then you know like no one really connects with this person because you know it is a sense that she's she thought what a waste of time okay whoever this person is um, this 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 lady um, you could have been in a relationship with this lady and you're letting this lady go you're turning your back you're moving away and you're letting this lady go and it's going to be better I'm seeing some of you trying to find inner strength with a relationship it's as if you have put a lot in your relationship and you realize it was just a waste of your time it wasn't a waste of your time you were just clearing karma with this person okay um, it's a hot mess that is going on for you scorpions but you were just clearing karma with this person and you will realize this that you know this person you don't have to ever see um, you can always call up on the Lord of Karma to release this person from you because definitely that's what's going to happen because you said I've cleared my my karma with this person and I no longer want to deal with this person in this dimension or other dimension and this is going to be good okay so um you guys have a very strong foundation I'm seeing a lot of conflicts um, in love a lot of conflicts in love but it's as if you Scorpius just know how to deal with relationship because you Scorpius have a way of just closing yourself off or just blocking the person to release you from whatever conflicts and that sort of a situation and this is what I'm seeing is happening I'm seeing a lot of you connecting with um, t um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorns and they are just so open so positive you're feeling the vibration you're really communicating with these people and it's going to be good for you guys whatever the conflicts is in relationship these conflicts is going to be over so some of you have been going through 
conflicts in a relationship and um, the conflicts that you're having in the relationship has to do with the Knight of Pentacles okay has to do with the Knight of Pentacles and um, what you're going to do is that this Knight of Pentacles of uh, moved on or is seeing an uh, older Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and that is just going to end the conflicts in this relationship because whoever this person is is as if they jump from one person to another um, you're going to be finding out about this and you're going to be thinking oh I'm so happy bye and um, because this was definitely someone that was holding on playing games um, holding on and um, you basically decide you know I don't need this anymore in my life I don't need this conflict so some of you were dealing with the young um, Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and uh, um, you left them you think no I don't want this I don't want to deal and some of you are definitely going to be starting with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay so I'm seeing this energy coming in for um, the young people or people with a more younger energy vibration and you know the best thing is the best thing that you have done is let go of this person because this person was just causing you a lot of um, a cre a, you know crazy things that is happening and definitely an offer is going to be coming in and it's definitely a new offer of love is going to be coming in and it's from someone who is very very um your type um vibrate with your own energy vibration which meaning um there are different people and whether or not we want to look at relationships like this and people like this but it is certain people don't go with certain people because um, if you are someone who um, you know are very respectable and you look at things and you don't treat people a certain way if you are going to be going with someone who is very um, harsh and very hard and very horrible and that sort of a thing then you're going to think uh, um, it's break your own energy vibration so um, you know lady or uh, ladies or gentlemen um, choose someone who has the same soft ways or characteristic as yourself why is because you're going to be setting up yourself some people will always say yes I like a rough man and I like a man or I like um, you know someone who is bitchy and that sort of a thing but you yourself is not that way and what it does is that breaks your own energy vibration so sometimes people think oh that person thinks that they're better than I am no it's because that person is totally coming from a place of being very soft respectable sensitive if you are sensitive do not go with someone who is um, uh, out of earth and don't really care what they say to people how it affects people because it's gonna tear you down okay because relationships are based upon respect trust and loyalty and as um, someone can't respect you for who you are and think that you know you are so mm -mm -mm, then choose someone who is that way because then you won't have that conflicts that someone constantly breaking you down constantly treating you like shit because that's exactly what is going to be happening okay um, uh, you ladies who have left a relationship with a with a young person someone who is young ill mature do not return to that relationship just whatever communication you receive from that young person just let it be just um just don't communicate no communication that is much better because they're about to fall on their faces okay they're taking time to think about something they saw true love in front of their faces but yet still they um pushed it away and uh, 
behave as if you know they're the cat pajamas and they're gonna fall on their faces okay they're they're leading up to a big fall and you know people like if you meet someone and they go oh I don't want to be in a relationship I don't want this it's always a big lie because um, the person is looking the person is hurt and is looking for a relationship and what is happening is that you met this person then the person is gonna go yeah I'm not really looking for a relationship I just want someone I can hang out with or someone I can have sex with yeah you know think about it ladies and gentlemen no you or someone who is looking for someone to have a companionship with you don't want someone who is going to pop in and out of your life so let it go whoever this person is you know have your fun but don't open your heart to this person i'm seeing some of you realizing that you know there is true potential um you have met someone this person may be younger than you are and you're looking for it there could be true potential in this person but it's as if they're really rough on the outside let it go let it go don't go there let it go and the reason why I'm saying let it go because it has it, it, you know you don't get in a relationship to change someone um, the person is not of your own energy vibration and it is best to keep this person away from you because um, this person is really really up for a fall okay because I'm seeing this happening to a lot of uh, men and women out there and uh, um, you scorpions are so lovable you have so much love to give and I'm seeing that people are coming in your life and uh, they are you know basically treating you because I'm seeing a lot of sadness that is happening I'm seeing a lot of you having a lot of sadness but ask the universe to release you if you are in a relationship which I'm feeling the energy of a lot of you in relationships that are uncomfortable um, these relationship makes you feel bad um, sometimes then you, you know let it go you don't need this relationship because this person needs to build their ego to make someone else feel bad you know these are people who set themselves up for a fall and then they go I don't want to break my heart and whatever and whatever and don't fall in love with me and that sort of a thing you know then say you know so why you want to talk to me in the first place because if someone is gonna say don't fall in love with me I mean who are you you're not that odd <laughs> you, you know you're not that all and um, and you know when I was young I always say that but um, I wasn't like one of these people to have a lot of relationships no I, I was I was very skeptical of who I talked to and what you need to do also for yourself as a scorpion because when you love you love deep and when you hurt you hurt also deep before you open up yourself to someone find out and see where this person is coming from because I think sometimes people come and say oh you know and they do this and that in a relationship and whenever people start to say yeah and I did this and I did that and whatever whatever and then I'm thinking I want to hear the other person's side of the story because if you have done so much things where have your relationship ended you know my relationships they're always lasting 10 20 years um because um you learn um how to deal with people and um you know even if the sense of someone coming in and is going to use you and i guess a lot of you are going to be feeling used and feel used in relationship get out of the relationship just get out of the relationship because it's not really a relationship it's um, um, a situation where someone is taken from you taking your energy feeding off your own energy so let it go <sighs> there is some of you out there that has met someone who you care about but you see so many red flags so many um, 
distasteful um, situation let it go let it go don't get involved um, please like share these videos and I want to say namaste until next time